Okay. Oh, I have a panda eye. So, um, I have a friend, <clears throat> and she's been uh, very supportive on my way since my accident, and I have shared a lot with her. Um, who my soul is and who I am and what I can do or used to be able to do. And I remember her saying to me, wow, you, you are a very well-developed, advanced soul. And I was just like, yeah. And I felt really understood by her and <clears throat> She was one of the only ones that didn't think I was crazy, um, thinking about all these things. And now I was, I just got really exhausted, like really drained, and then I was lying down. And then I, my higher self reminded me of things. Like I had an intuitive bad feeling about her. Like I saw some, I had a vision of like some demonic essences there. And I didn't trust it and because I wanted to believe in the good in people. And a little while ago I asked her to get me sleeping medication so that I can in this life so that I'm still able to reincarnate and she denied she said no she wouldn't do it because her soul said no and um, I was understanding I was just like okay that's fair enough and so I kept on suffering um, And now, she keeps telling me stories about things that are happening in her life. I don't know, she used to be very um, depressed and conscious, yes, but I remember her saying to me at some point, she's like, oh, I'm a little bit envious of who you are. And now she leaves me messages and she's, I don't know, like today she, she said, oh yeah, I, 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 and I should say that too, like in the last few days I've been thinking a lot about how uncomfortable I always felt around my family and how I could only spend a certain amount of time around them before needing to get away. And today she left me this message. She was just like, yeah, um, I was at a family gathering and I could just really feel how fake they were and how artificial and how much they were in the matrix and all of that kind of stuff. And this happens right after I remembered those things. And I sent her a message yesterday and I said, look, I know I don't want to accuse you of anything. I don't want to be mean or anything. But I see a lot of my energy in you and I asked her if it had always been that way and she said it was amplified right now. And I just know that she has some of my energy. I just know that. 
Same with my other friend who got really frustrated with me a while ago because she blamed my perception and what I felt was going on on my disease. Uh, on my schizophrenia. <clears throat> and And then all of a sudden she started having these feelings of, oh, I have nowhere to go. I have to live in this loving situation that I don't want to live in. And I have no place to pull back to and be by myself. And um, I have a lot going on too. And it's just fucked up. Like, people are feeling my feelings and I keep wishing for myself that I can feel my feelings and for some reason they are going to all other places but me and I am slowly dying and she didn't want to have the chronic responsibility of giving me sleeping pills and helping me to die but now she's participating in killing me anyways. I don't know if she knows it or if she doesn't, but and I know there's probably a lot of, of people that might be watching this if anyone ever watches this, so I don't know. I think I'm crazy. I don't know. It's really painful to be robbed of everything that is valuable to you and that gives you value. And I was so honest with her all the time and I was so trusting. And now this is happening and I don't know, I keep recording these videos. But it's not like that's going to help because I knew intuitively weeks ago that I needed to get the fuck out of here because otherwise, I don't know what happened. Ironically, I asked, I asked this first friend who was just like, so what if I die now? Do my parts keep living in other people? She's like, I don't know. So said she doesn't believe that souls can die. But she also did a lot of healing sessions for me. And I said to her, maybe once I'm better I can help you with um, certain things. And she just like yeah and now I am helping her with certain things but it's against my will my mom keeps saying you have such a strong will Um, yep, um, so much for that, it's like involuntary death, by people that you love. I find it quite unbelievable that people, well, if they are doing it consciously, she says she's not doing it consciously, but I think um, 
it's enough for her to wish to be like more like me and then probably my energy goes there because I am defenseless at this point and um, I have a healing session with her and her friend on Saturday and Yeah, if I still exist, and people keep wishing me, like, oh yeah, have a good morning, and I'm like, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> um, they mean nice, I think, but it's kind of all a big humiliation. And I keep trying, and I keep trying. Anyways, um, this is my parents' fault. I hate blaming people and I hate saying like, oh, I'm such a victim, blah, 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 but in this case I am and I am innocent in this and I really miss myself. I really miss myself. And the irony of my brother when I tried to escape Germany because I knew that bad things would happen. And I tried to escape and he reported me missing. Now I'm reporting myself fucking missing. Anyways, I don't know if anyone is ever going to watch this. It's a different kind of murder. And I don't know if people can be karmically held responsible if they are not aware that they're doing it. Anyways, that's enough. <laughs>